keep it tight. Hey, this is Magnus Foyer. Uh, on popular request from Jaguar Land Rover, I'm going to show how to froth milk, Lavazza style. I learned this from a Lavazza importer into Estonia, the Baltic States, in, uh, in Scandinavia. Uh, what I've done is that I've taken a little bit of milk in a French press and I heated it for 1 minute and 30 seconds in a microwave. And I obviously have a small marker here because that's how much milk I use for one large cup of espresso. And now that I heated it, I'm actually going to froth it. So I just take this, put it here. And I take the French press pump, as usual, standard stuff, nothing special, and put it in like this, and do it down, and then I do pump it vigorously, trying not to get it too far up like that, but actually have it stay inside the foam and inside the paper. And once that's done, you can now see that it's more than doubled in size. So it's now actually 60-70% foam and just not that much milk at the bottom. And if you look here, it's still very foamy and now it needs to harden for about a minute. So we're going to pause here and then we're going to continue. Okay, so it's been about a minute now. And if we have a look at the foam here, you can see that it is much stiffer as it is. So what we're going to do... So now we're just going to pour that into the cup where I made an espresso, double shot espresso, fairly standard. And you can see how thick the foam is. And as you pour it, it's actually almost exclusively foam at this point and almost no milk. And that's how you do it. You never need to use a steam one again. This one, you just need to rinse out with warm water and leave it to dry. And there's going to be no residue or nothing else. Thank you.